Hey guys, I'm going to show you all how to make the most affordable, best, just amazing hot water. It's so easy, so cheap, and is amazing. All right, so I'm going to explain all of the equipment you need as you go. It's very simple. First thing you need is a gallon jar and a lid for it. And step one, obviously, is water. Now, if you have crap water, you have crap hop water. So, at the minimum, filter your tap water. Don't pour tap water into this, because that's gross. And I am using fresh hops, as you can see here. I just pulled them off of my vines uh, a couple hours ago. About as fresh as you can get. You can use dried hops, and you can also use pellet hops, which is much easier, especially in the non-growing season, and which is coming to an end right now. So, what you need to do is fill it about half full with water, which is where we're at. Then you need to get a hop sack. I mean, you can use cheesecloth, you can use anything you want. You just don't want to get the particles in there. It's not necessary. So, the way I do it, I prefer my hop water to be quite hoppy, so I use about 37 grams of hops, which as you can see is basically as much as fits in two hands comfortably. Uh, I would say between 25 and 37 grams of fresh hops is ideal, depending on, like I said, your hop, the hoppiness you want. If you're using dry hops or pellet hops, uh, it's more like five to seven grams because they are all the water is taken out. So, yeah, I've done both. They're it's it's good either way, honestly. Just make sure you pick hops that you like. I like Citra, tropical fruit flavor, peach, passion fruit, guava. Yeah, I mean that's good. Whatever whatever I like in an IPA is usually what I like in my hop water. So, Citra is good for that. So. Just put all your hops in here. This is 37 grams. I weighed it off camera. But I don't even need seem to need to weigh it anymore because I know what it looks like. This bowl that I picked is the perfect size for 37 grams. Okay. All right. There's that. Now, you're going to want to put in Two tablespoons of lime juice. Uh, you might want to use a little bit less if you aren't using as many hops. If you're on the 24 gram side of fresh hops or the five gram side of dry hops, you might only want to use one. But I really like my hop water hoppy, so this helps counteract that. Okay. Lime juice, and this is a very basic recipe. You can add all sorts of flavors to this. Uh, I've done green cardamom pods. They're great. You crack them, throw three of them in there. It's great. Pinch of salt. And another thing that I've found that helps is to get a pickle pebble. You can look it up if you don't know what it is and throw it in the sack because hops tend to want to float, especially fresh hops. They're worse. So, all right, tie a knot in it near the bottom to keep them contained. Throw them in. Now top the uh, jar off with the rest of your water. And like I said, well, you can have hop water just uncarbonated. It is definitely better carbonated. Uh, I will show you in another video how to carbonate, but for right now, it is going to be uncarbonated. You'll see they're still floating even with the pickle pebble, but as they get, as they absorb the water, they will start to sink. So give them a little, give the hot bag a little bit of slack so they can sink, tighten it up, 
maybe. And make sure you fold this over the top and put something on it that's slightly heavy. Right now I'm going to use my salt container. Normally I use another pickle pebble, but because if you don't, the liquid is going to seep out of your bag and make a mess all over your table. So if you bring it up like this, it won't do that. And when your hot water is done, I usually let it steep for at least six hours. More, uh, I prefer 12 plus. I mean, the longer you steep, the better it's going to be. It's going to look like this. It's pretty cloudy. But yeah, it's, that's as easy as it is. 